Hello again, everybody. This is Derek, a.k.a. Mr. Everything, and we are playing some IL-2. We're in Normandy. I'm in my Spitfire. Um, the AI has been giving me a little bit of uh, grief in that the uh, number one and number two plane will uh, go into a taxi pattern, and they will swing around to the back side of the squadron here and then they will ram the two rear planes uh, before the first plane gets a chance to take off. Uh, I don't know what it is. Uh, there needs to be a patch or an update or something that's going to fix this because this is a problem. I didn't draw my flaps. Did I draw my flaps? Maybe I did. Maybe I pressed the button. Now, if these guys start taxiing, I think, yep, look at that. They're taxiing. I think I'm just going to take off. Or maybe move off to the side so I don't get rammed. All right, now we're just going to wait for these guys to take off. I have a feeling my buddy over there on the right is going to get rammed by the leader before we take off. But I can't control that. And if I have to do another mission where I fly by myself, I guess I'll have to do that. For those of you that haven't noticed, I have a new skin where I've got, uh, hello. All right, guys, come on, get moving. Take off already. Now he's going to come up and just smack into the back of our, uh, our R and he's going to lose his propeller and he's not going to be able to continue. See, look at that. Slow down. Stop already. Okay, don't then. Boom. Knocked the pilot out already. Now, he was going to ram me, but that's why I ran off the field. Now we got people taken off. That's good. Oh, he's going to ram somebody else? No, he didn't. Okay, good. He applied his brakes. Maybe he can be the de facto flight leader. Well, if you're not going to take off, I'll do. Overcompensating. Come on. There we go. Okay. 
Okay, the majority of the squadron is in the air. Okay, it looks like looks like number two is taken off. see if we can link up with number two and maybe fly this mission without them without the uh, flight lead it's insane it's just crazy AI needs to get fixed it's got a broke AI I'm probably going to, after this mission, I think I'm going to jump on the forum and uh, see if other people are having this issue. Alright, so this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to fast forward, see what happens, and then we'll be back uh, once I discover something else. Alright, be right back. Alright guys, I am back. Um, we took off. We orbited uh, by Funkington about five or six times and we gained a lot of altitude i'm over seven thousand feet right now and i've decided just and one plane headed off towards the objective so uh, i'm going to try to ca catch up to him and maybe it'll just be the two of us all right so i'm going to fast forward and uh see if we can't link up with these bombers and uh Maybe these guys will get their heads out of their ass and catch up to us. Probably not, though. All right, see that. All right, guys, I've been flying uh, straight and level. It looks like I caught up, but... Okay, let's turn that off. It looks like our bombers are getting ready to get jumped by some fighters, and that's what we're here for. Okay, what is this? Maybe this is them right there in front of me. Okay, let's let's juice it or cheese it or whatever. Cheese it is running, right? Okay. I should have a. Well, I would I would think there would be another Spitfire over here because I was I saw him head out towards the bombers. Come on, bombers. You got tail gunners. Use them. Okay, I don't know what kind of plane I'm going to be attacking over here. It could be anything. Okay, none of those are the bombers. The fighters, I mean. Ah, there you go. One of our bombers is smoking. Wait, who's this? I am Charlie 8. Oh, oh, what, you, what was that? Okay. Okay. 
let's take a quick look at what we're dealing with here. See, look at that. These are all my allies, and they're still flying around uh, England. N-M-O-P. Okay, he's smoking. Yeah, he's smoking pretty bad. Okay, there's one more to the left that looks like it was oh wait what's going on back in the cockpit I wasn't paying attention falling in behind him. Yeah, I don't think any of that's going to hit. All right, now we're in range. Interesting. Okay. And that's another thing, I could have swore I removed my mirror. That sun, yikes. I'm behind him now. I'm just giving him nicks and dings. I'm not trying to uh, unload on them. All right, let's see how the bombers are doing. They're struggling to stay in formation. All right, let me get a little closer to them. P 
pay attention to what's going on in my neighborhood. In my neighborhood. Even at 50% throttle, I overtake these bombers. I'm waiting for my gas gauge to pop up. I'm flying straight and level. There it is. I'm still good on gas. Alright guys, we're going to continue to follow these bombers into the objective. It looks like we're pretty close. Yeah. So, hmm. Got one of them really leaking. All right, so I'm gonna fast forward a little bit until the bombers get closer to their objective. All right, guys, I am back. I decided to take a close-up look at this plane, uh, specifically because I was interested. I didn't notice that this had a gun, uh, like a side gunner on this side but not on this side um, there is a window and then it's got its turret gunner on the top and he's looking scanning the skies and then you got this tail gunner here it looks like he's behind a wall which might or might not be any kind of armor for him but yeah he's he's got a couple of guns and then this guy's got a gun and then of course they've got the forward firing guns uh, but that's usually for like strafing or ground attack and but then you've got this uh, the bombardier he's got his own gun uh, just in case you know what I mean and then of course the two pilots there's probably a guy well I see a couple of seats behind the uh, pilots I guess that's where the navigator and the flight uh, engineer would go or something I don't know um, but Interestingly enough, I'm looking at the top of this plane, and it's got this big, huge hole. That's probably where a cannon hit it. And then, uh, I don't see any holes. Okay, there's a couple, like, they just dropped bombs. Okay, let's watch that. V1 site. Looks like they're going after a V1 site. There's a lot of destruction. That truck's still good though. What the, what the hell? Okay. Okay, it looks like the bombers are right there.
See now, I scanned through my allies, and okay, here's the bombers, right? But look at these guys, they're still back in England, just orbiting, not doing anything. There's a guy flying high. Somebody jumped and bailed and... Yeah, what are these guys doing? And that's me. And I will link up with these bombers on the way back to England. And uh, I will see you when we get back. All right, guys, we've only got about five gallons of gas, but I've got some altitude, so I'm going to drop my throttle to almost nada, and then we're going to kind of coast it in. Okay, maybe a little bit of throttle, but we're going to coast it in, and maybe we can make it into our airfield. Okay, there's wittering. No idea where the bombers are. I left them behind when I noticed my gas was starting to go down. Our speed is pretty much pegged. Four thousand feet, three thousand feet. And you get more lined up. That's our airfield right there. It looks like I was supposed to be landing on the north-south uh, strip. So that's what we're going to do. Navigation lights are on. Speed is still probably way too high. Okay, there goes the flaps. Might as well, there goes the gear. Nose this down, it'll build up some speed. Gas is still at five gallons. We got this. We still have planes in the air over there on the hill on the right. It's a big bounce. Now I'm in the grass.
Okay, I can't finish the mission. Oh, I got water dripping on my goggles. Look at that. couple of drops all right see these guys are still flying All right, so I'm going to edit out any uh, delay to the end of the mission. All right, so we are, uh, we just finished that mission. It took me a second before the bomber got back and let me finish this mission as accomplished. We, got, we lost four planes. Uh, a couple of them, I assume, were crashed on the airstrip. Um, I saw there was a, somebody had bailed out and it was probably John McReady uh, because it shows that he has been killed and he probably bailed out over the channel. Or uh, this was the guy's plane that got rammed or something. So uh, I think it's just ridiculous. Got to get that uh, AI fixed. Yeah, you notice on the next day that we're going to fly, which is May 6th, uh, we're only going up in groups of five. It's probably because that's all we have uh, in airplanes. Let's check. Uh, yeah, we've only got 12 pilots. That puts me at 18. Yeah, we've only got five Spitfires ready for action. So, wow, that's horrible. So, if in the morning we get somebody shot down, we're not going to have enough planes to do a five-man bomber mission. Uh, if I was to go to World News, uh, I wouldn't be on there yet, I wouldn't think. There's 18 McGrath. I'm going to have to wait till a new newspaper comes out, uh, which is going to be the 8th. Alright guys, well I'll see you in the next video and hopefully we get some of this AI fixed.